up to my favorite bunch of beauties welcome back to Nisi W Beauty my name is Denise or Nisi if you are new here welcome I hope you enjoy what you see and I hope you consider subscribing welcome back to Monday morning makeup number 21 in this video I am going to share with you all a palette that I created using the palette designer in lethal cosmetics I am quite addicted in that palette designer so I am going to try my best to stay away from it just for a while because I do love Lethal Cosmetics shadows and I like the idea of creating a palette that I think that would have shades that I would use on a regular basis. You also get to choose the actual palette like the the palette that the shadows go in which I like. So when you see my palette, it is going to look like the Wildflower palette, but I just chose that actual packaging. So it looks like this. And it's like this on the back. And all of their palettes have holes in the back. So you can use a pen and push out your eyeshadows. All right, so this is the Lethal Cosmetics website. And I wanted to um, share with you all how I designed my palette using their palette designer and I am just scrolling down here and FYI if you all are interested in the wildflower palette it is available again you can also pick up the wildflower and nightflower bundle I already own the nightflower bundle but this is just some of their restocked items and I am going to go back um, I'm not going to go back to the main page, but I'm going to hit the three lines in the upper left hand corner and that brings up the menu and I'm going to go under eyes and, and then tap palette designer and then you come up with the palette that I shared with you all on Monday. And I want to start a new palette. So what I am going to do is I'm going to hit the plus right here at the bottom. And I am going to choose, I hate when I do that. I'm going to choose another palette. And the palette that I want to choose this time, and for whatever reason, their website is a little bit glitchy. Like every time I touch something, it brings up something completely different. But I'm going to hit the gridlock palette so it'll get rid of my palette. I thought it would get rid of my palette. Um, okay, let's hit this. Okay, so I hit the plus and I'm going to cancel. So you'll hit the plus on the lower right hand right above the um, price. You'll hit the plus. Then it will bring up a new palette for you. I am going to choose the, let's see, let's choose the Synergy palette since it's, oh, no. Yeah, let's choose the Synergy palette. So you'll just hit choose. Then it will bring you up a nice fresh palette. And I am going to hit the plus again. And I want to choose my shadows. So I think what I will do this time is choose um, a couple of shadows and a couple of blushes. So you basically are just going to, and this is just to show you how it's done. Like I am interested in the shade Biome. So I just hit the shade Biome and it said it was added. And you can also scroll and every time I do that it just brings up that thing because I'm touching something. And I can just touch whatever shades I want to touch and they will show up in my palette and uh, well, let's add a, add a highlighter I'll add the shade fusion and then I'll touch blushes and bronzers and I will hit the shade Caroline it, all the ones that keep scrolling back and forth at the bottom are out of stock so let's just choose Caroline as a blush and I'm going to X out of that and you can see how I, how I have my three shadows and my bronzer, my, my blush and my highlighter. 
I could probably add three more blushes. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead, not three more blushes, three more eyeshadows. And let's see. Let's choose the shade Enigma. Uh, let's choose the shade. I keep touching instead of scrolling and it keeps popping stuff out. All right, just for the video, I will choose the shade Arcade and let's choose the shade Altitude. And I am going to scroll. I'm going to hit the X at the top and that would be my palette. So that's just a quick um, mini tutorial, if that's what you call, want to call it, on how to create your own palette using the Lethal Cosmetics website. So this is what my palette looks like. And if you see, and I'll turn it this way, this shade right here, the, let's see, yeah, the first one came broken. I was able to press it back in, so I just didn't make a big deal out of it. And I want to um, share with you the shades that I chose for this palette. Oh, I am going to open this up again. And let me just make my... Turn my exposure down a little bit so you can see a little bit better what the actual palette looks like. So this gold um, shade at the top right here, the one that I nicely pressed back in, is called Ethology. And uh, as I was pressing that one back in, I noticed that it is a very light shade. It's more like a topper shade. And that is this shade right here. Right next to it is Lore. This one is Acolyte. Symmetry. This one is Mycelium. This is Lithium. This is Trespass. This is Orchard. And when you come down here, this is Loom. Ephemeral. Um, Carousel. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's spelled C-A-R-A-C-A-L. And that is one of their ones that look um, kind of modeled or something. And then the last one here is Event Horizon. The shades Event Horizon and the shade... I thought I had two duochromes in here. Um, I yeah, the shade Event Horizon and the shade Lithium, which I... Mm, is that lithium? Hold on. No, the shade Mycelium. So Event Horizon, which is here, and Mycelium are duochrome. So that made my palette just a little bit more expensive. But I didn't mind it. Um, so I'm going to jump in. I am going to zoom in, and we are going to get started. All right, so let me zoom out just a bit so you can see my brows too because I have not done anything with my face except skincare so we are going to be doing everything again this week from the brows on down the first thing I am going to do is to um, prime my face and I'm going to be using one of my OG's but this is a this is a new one but isn't this is an OG brand for me and this is the Laura Geller Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. So I'm going to be using this. And this is in the shade Bronze. She does also have it in a shade where... And where's my... Is it here? You know I have my little primer brush. So I'm going to have to get my little primer brush. Alright. And it pumps out a good amount on your face so I'm just gonna just sort of do one of these deals I feel like it pumps out a little bit too much on your face and then I will just And 
and because I am using a the Fenty skin tint and the um Fenty powder foundation I like this because it has a bit of a glow to it let me scroll out a little bit more I feel like I'm too close I feel like it has a little bit of a glow to it so once I put that powder on my face won't look flat at least that's what I'm hoping and if you all hear anything in the background, I feel like this is a repeat of last week, but uh, I'm just going to grab a makeup wipe. My husband has people here this week. Oh no. He has people here this week um, doing repairs on the deck. So if you hear bumping and knocking, that's people outside on the deck. I am going to be careful because this primer might come out of my top, but foundation will not. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. And this is the same um, Sephora. Is it waterproof? Yeah, waterproof brow pencil. And this is in the shade hot chocolate. No, chocolate brown. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill my brows in. And I think I'll just fill my brows in and then I'll be right back. Are done. I am just going to put my eyeshadow base on. And this week I am using the Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Contemplative State from MAC. makes quick work of putting my eyeshadow base on um, so that part is done I like the fact that I don't have to set the paint pot so I can just move on to the next step and that is going to be to go ahead and use the eyeshadow palette so what I tried to do when I set the eyeshadow palette up is to have shades in here that would be like and I'm hoping this is a good one a um transition shade like sort of a mid-tone sort of brown and I kind of went when I look at it one shade one side looks rosy and the other side just looks sort of neutral even though this palette is kind of um tricking my eyes but I am going to go in and I am never going to remember these shades. So let me see. I have them here. I am going to go in with the shade. Did I go back too far? Yeah. Um, Lore, which is the second shade here. And I am going to use that as a transition shade. And I don't have my... um microfiber cloth to dust my brushes off but okay I mean it shows up decently it's not I, I don't necessarily want it to um take over the look but it does if you look from this eye to this eye it does give a little bit of depth to the crease and I am going to do what I always do I and I also included a shade here which is like this is like a just a cream shade for my brow bone just in case I want to use a brow bone shade I think I am going to stay on the rosy side so the shade that I am going to use first is I don't know the names of them, so I'm just going to point to them because um, I know my phone is going to keep going off. 
the shade that I am going to use first. Do you know what I want to do? Is it's going to be this shade up here. And I'm going to go sort of into the crease and then sort of out like the outer V with that shade. I may um, deepen it up with another shade. But we are just going to start here. And I love the um, pigmentation of Lethal's eyeshadows. So it kind of makes it worth the price for the fact that you can create a palette with full of shades that you know that you'll use and um, with the quality on top of that. I'm going to go in... I think I'm going to do like a dual chrome moment here. So I don't know if it's a dual chrome or multi chrome, but I'm going to go in with the shade. I know this one is Event Horizon. And I am going to use the Sonia G Worker Pro. And I'm going to put that sort of on the outer, I think I'm going to do. Let's see how this works. Let's see. And this one is very soft. This one is also very pigmented. side to the other one here and we'll do a little bit of cleanup afterwards all right I'm just going to flip my brush over and I'm going to go into the shade here and that one will go like in the center oh, I love how pigmented and easy to blend out their eyeshadows are just grab I am going to go with that shade at the bottom and we'll see how this um uh, let's use I thought I had two of those too. maybe this is it worker pro yeah um I'm going to go in with the speckled shade at the bottom here and that'll go on the inner corner. So I'm going to see what it looks like once you blend all the shades together. And hope it's okay. It's like maybe a step lighter than the shade I put on, which is perfect. Nice and pigmented. All right. I am going to go again with the blender brush and I'm going to go with this shade and just to sort of darken up the outer V well the outer corner and just a little bit like here because I don't want to make that dual multi chrome shade disappear so just like on the very outer all 
right and I'm going to take this is a huge sort of blending brush detail pro and I'm just going to go over the top here and just sort of blend everything together It's really pretty. I am going to take, do I have an angle brush? Um, I don't, but I will take this sort of flat brush. This is the worker brush from Sonya G. And I'm going to take that cream shade down here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the brow bone. And that'll like help me with the shape also kind of blend everything together all right so we are liking that I'm just going to take my wipe here and just sort of clean up a bit before I put concealer on All right, that is that. We are going to do the face and then we will come back to the eyes. So I am gonna use the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Skin Tint and this is in the shade 17. brushes is this one is this a foundation brush no that's the bronzer brush the pro foundation brush I'm gonna spray it with some fix plus I do need to clean this brush let me try to be careful don't want to put any liquid foundation on my clothes here and let me get the rest off with this and so because I am using a her powder foundation on top of this I am only putting like one layer of this on check my shirt make sure I didn't put any foundation on it all right and before I do that I did go ahead and get um Mally's under eye brightening concealer in the shade rich instead of the shade deep so this is what rich looks like and this will be my first time using it so excuse me while i click like a thousand times not too bad and we'll put some here and we'll put some here and i am going to use this concealer brush from half baked I think I should have just tapped the other eye instead of 
rubbing because I feel like I rubbed most of it away. I can rub up here. I'm just trying to clean up that shadow. All right, and this is good. Okay, done. Kind of like it. I'll keep using it this week to see how much I like it. So I am going to use a big old fluffy powder brush from, it actually says it's a pro bronzer, but this is a huge bronzer brush. So I'm going to use it for the Fenty Powder Foundation and I have it in the shade 370. Oh, you know what? I am about to use a cream on top of a powder because I forgot that my bronzer this week is a cream bronzer. So I, it might be cream to powder, so it might not be too bad. And we'll put that back. I am now going to use, I feel like my hair is sticking out. And it is. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer. Um, it is a cream bronzer, but to me it's sort of a dry type of, well, I could be wrong about that too, but I don't think it'll disturb anything. And I'm going to use the Niji Pro, I think this is. Yeah. Actually, I think I have the actual bronzer brush. Let me see. Um, I know I got both. And it might be this big old, oh, jumbo bronzer. No, I'm going to use a Niji Pro. To me, this is for like a powder bronzer. So we'll save that for later. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. And I have some on my face as it is now and let me just like stipple a little bit Right, just a little bit and I am going to grab the Charlotte Tilbury beautifying pillow talk beautifying face palette which looks like this and I got it in the deep so I am going to use the shade what is this I guess this is called super blush right here sorry for the noise and we are here on my channel once again where I never pull the film off of anything and I have hair on my face from All right, there we go. Pretty blush. Start from the back because I would rather have more blush in the back than in the front. All right, and I am going to use this. Is this a... Oh, that's a plant putty. I'm going to use this brush here. It might not. It says it's a base. No, let's use this one. And this is the Sephora Pro Highlighting Brush. And I am going to go in with this shade here, which is called Multi Glow, I think. So it's this shade here. And that'll be my highlighter. Or rather like a blush topper. Let's 
so it sort of makes my blush a little glowy so I'll just put it all over my blush and I'm gonna go back to my eyes and let me grab this so I always have my Mally um, Evercolor Gel waterproof eyeliners in my um, makeup basket so we are gonna pick a shade here and let's see I am going to go in with the shade Walnut, which is a brown shade. And I'm going to line my eyes. And let me just see. Let's just use this mirror here. And I'll put that back. I am going to go back into the eyeshadow palette. And I am going to take, I want like a sort of square off brush. So, might not be able to find one. I know I have one. Is this? We'll just use this. This is the worker. And I'm going to go back into the shade here and put that on my lower lash line. Tell you what's going to get on my nerves today is people keep making my ring doorbell go off. And the last thing I am going to do is I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is the lightest one on this side. And I feel like I used all six shades, so that is going to be my inner corner highlight. All right, and I am just going to put some mascara on, and I will be right back. All right, so mascara is on, and I am just going to do my lip, and I am going to use a MAC shade in the, um, a MAC lipstick in the shade Bated Breath, and I think this is, of course, a limited edition, and this one was gifted to me by my good friend Colette and let me tell you what it did so i have the sephora rouge gel lip liner and i have it in the shade molasses and i forgot that this is a twist up pencil because it looks like a sharpenable one so i decided to go ahead and start sharpening it thank goodness for me that the actual pencil is still okay is the shade Baited Breath and that looks like this And let me grab another wipe. And I am just going to clean up around my lip. Okay. 
that is that. Hey, and thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great week and don't let your day be a waste of makeup. Or rather, don't let your week be a waste of makeup. Bye.